So in this one, again, it's very, very important for us to understand, again, looking. Looking, I heard a lot of quotient rules. But you got to be, we got to compare it. We're taking the quotient when we're taking the derivative of a division, of a quotient. We're not taking the derivative of a quotient. We're taking the derivative. Technically, you guys can look at this even as a chain rule. You have ln of 2 over x squared. But the chain rule wouldn't be the best way to um, simplify. I'm sorry. I even forgot the right derivative. Um, but the chain rule wouldn't even be the best way to do this, because then, yeah, you'd have to take the, chain, the derivative of 2 over x squared, which would be the quotient rule. The best thing to do is use the properties of logarithms. Ln of 2 minus ln of, I'm sorry, ln of 2 minus ln of x squared. Then, shh, not done yet. As you're taking the derivative, here, though, is another example of derivative x squared. Here is another, um, you could even simplify this further using the rules. Because you wouldn't want to use the chain rule again, would you? No, why use the chain rule unless we have to? So we could change this to d over dx as ln of 2 minus 2, because that's inside, 2 over ln of x. Now, after using all my properties of logarithms, now I'll take the derivative. So make sure you guys utilize those properties of logarithms. They're, they're going to make your life much, much easier. Because now, ln of 2, derivative of ln of 2, that's just 0. Here, take the constant out. It's just L over ln of x, so it's negative 2 over x. So d over dx equals negative 2 over x.